What's up everyone, it's Hash and today I have a real treat for you metalheads. I'm gonna show you guys how to play Senorita by Shawn Mendes. And I'm probably gonna lose a lot of subscribers because of this, but that's okay because I don't have a whole lot anyway. But all kidding aside, this song has been everywhere. And there are some cool and really easy to do guitar riffs in here. I'm gonna show you guys how to play that. You can play it on acoustic as well as an electric. There's actually both of them throughout the song. I'm obviously gonna show you how to play it on an electric guitar, but you can easily do this on an acoustic as well. So let's get started. We're in standard tuning. Let me give you guys my A string just a few times, just so you can tune up. First riff. Okay, let's break this into four really simple parts. And the first part is gonna be this. That's your first part. So what I'm doing is I'm palm muting these notes. So with the fleshy part of my right hand, I'm muting the strings instead of, so that's what a palm mute is in a nutshell. So we're doing That's part one. So let me just play it without palm muting so you can hear the notes completely so you know exactly what it should sound like. So we're gonna play the 13th fret of our B string, 14th fret of our G string, 14th fret of our D string. So, and then we're gonna go, and that's our 13th and 12 frets on our B string. And then you guessed it, 12th fret on our G string. So to put it together. Now the last part of the first part is gonna be. That's the 12th fret of our G string. 13th fret of our B string. 12th fret of our B string, 14th fret of our G string, back to the 12th fret of our B string. So, palm muted. Let's put it together with the other parts. All together. Again. Okay, so that's the first part. Now the second part is gonna be. Okay, so here's what we're doing here. It's very similar to the first part, but we're gonna change a few notes. We're only changing two notes and we're gonna change it to this string right here. So instead of playing this, in two places we're gonna play this. So let's get into it. So here's what we're doing. So it's starting to come together, and this is probably making sense in your mind now because the second part is very similar to the first part, but here's what we're doing. Instead of doing, we're doing, so instead of playing this, we play this note. So we went, so 13th fret of our B string, 12th fret of our G, 14th fret of our D. And in the first part we did, but now we're doing, And then we go, and that's the same as the first part. You're gonna do another part that's the same in the first part, which is. That's the 12th fret of our G string, 13 on our B, 12 on our B, to the 14th on our G string. Now when we did, 
the first time we went but as I mentioned we're going to be changing this note to this so we're going to go so let's backtrack a little bit so this makes sense again so let's put this together with the first part second part and then we're going to go to the third part and that is that's all you're doing and of course it's palm muted so that's going to be the 10th fret of our G string 13th fret of our B string So to put it together with the first and the second part. Now let me play it when it's not palm muted. And the last part we're going to play okay so what we're doing here is we're going 12 13 12 13 on a b string and then we play 12 again and then we're going to go to the 12th fret of our g string so And then we're going to do this exact same thing again but instead of going to the 12th fret of our G we're going to go to the 14th fret we're going to go so the first time second time first time second time and then to end it we're going to play the 12th fret of our G string and that's how we end it so now let me play the fourth part slow all together first part second part third part fourth part again all right so the rhythm of the song is very simple there are five chords and I'm going to show you guys how to play them some of these are major and minor seven chords, but don't be scared. They are really easy to learn. And it's a very basic and repetitive plucking pattern that's been doing. And this is being played on an acoustic guitar. You can play it on an electric guitar as well. So here's what's going on. And I'm gonna show you guys all the chords right now. So there are five chords here and I'm going to show you what these chords are. To run through them real quick, the first chord is an A minor. The second chord is a C major 7. The third chord is an F major 7. The fourth chord is an E minor 7. And the fifth chord is a G, G major. Okay, I will go through these chords again in a minute. But first I want to show you the plucking pattern because this is very simple once you get this simple pattern down and it repeats over and over. It's not complicated at all. So here's what we're going to be doing. So if you can get this down, 
we'll be able to get the whole rhythm down because this is how he plays the entire thing. Okay, so I'm playing an A minor chord and I'm playing it on the fifth fret of my low E and it's barred down with my index finger and this index finger is barring down my G, B and high E string at the fifth fret as well and my ring and pinky fingers are on the seventh frets of my A and D string. So we go. So as you can see I'm plucking my low E and then I play my G and B string with my middle and ring finger. And in the end, I hit my A string as well. So I go. And then we're going to go to our C major 7 chord. Same picking pattern. Now, what's going on here is, a C major chord would be right here. But instead, we're playing a C major 7. It has that jazzy vibe to it. So all we do is, instead of playing it this way, what we're going to do, we're going to put our index finger on the 3rd fret of our A string and put your middle finger on the 4th fret of your G string, put your ring finger on the 5th fret of your D string and put your pinky finger on the 5th fret of your B string. So now you have this. So what I'm doing here is with my thumb, I'm plucking the A string. And this time I'm still plucking my G and B string with my middle and ring finger. And in the end I go. So I play my D string as well. The main difference between this and the first chord was we were playing our low E. But now we're not playing the low E, our bass note is in the A string. And then we're going to go to an F major 7. So don't let that scare you, it's really simple. All you do is keep this shape right here, and instead of the 3rd fret, we're going to go all the way to the 8th fret of our A string. So let's go all the way here, and now we have... So that's the 8th fret of our A string, 10th fret of our D string, 9th fret of our G string, and 10th fret of our B string. Same picking plucking pattern. So let's put it together with the first part. We're going to go to our fourth chord and that is an E minor 7. So index finger is on the 7th fret of our A string, ring finger is on the 9th fret of our D string, our index finger is barring down the 7th fret right here, so our G string is barred down on the 7th fret with this index finger, so... And we're going to put our middle finger on the 8th fret of our B string and our high E is still barred down with our index finger. So we have... And on this chord, here's what's going to change now. Instead of doing... We're only going to play half the picking pattern. We're going to go... And we're going to stop right there. That's because we're going to go to our last chord and do the last part of this picking pattern. So let's backtrack a little bit. We're going to go. So as you just saw, I go. And then I transition to a G major chord. And I play the rest of that picking pattern. So the G major chord is the 10th fret of our A string 
and with my ring finger here I'm barring down the 12th fret of my D, G and B. But I'm only going to do the second half of that picking pattern so I go. So if I go back a little bit we go again. So let's put it together. Okay, and that's pretty much the rhythm. So the only time this rhythm changes is in one of the pre-choruses, and here's what happens. So what I did there is, when I play, instead of doing, I do, those are two G major chords. Again. And the way I'm playing that is the third fret of my low E, second fret of my A, and the third fret of my B and E string, and my D and G string are open. All right, and there is a rhythm guitar that's playing behind the acoustic, and it's actually a little bit turned down in the mix, but you can hear it if you pay attention, and here's what it's doing. It plays the exact same thing throughout the song. So again, a very basic picking pattern. Once you get the picking pattern down, you can do this easily. So check this out. Try to follow me when I play this. So. Okay, so here's an A minor chord, which is the fifth fret of our low E and the seventh fret of our A string right now. We're only playing these two strings and we're going. Okay, so if you had to call these names, you could go one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one. And then we go. That's the seventh fret of our D string to the fifth fret. 7th fret of our A string to the 5th fret. So put it together. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. And then we're going to go to our C major 7, and we're going to do the same 1, 2, 1 pattern, but this time we're going to start it off on our A string, and that's the 3rd fret of our A string, and we're going to go straight to the 4th fret of our G string. That's going to be our 2. So we go 1, 2, 1, 2. And now what we're going to do is, instead of coming back to our A string, when we do the 1, 2, 1, 2, and we're going to go 1, 2, and our 1 this time is going to be on the 5th fret of our D string. So we're going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. So we start off with the A string, 1, and then we do 2, 1, 2, 1, but that's with our G and D string this time. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Back to the A, back to the G, and back to the A. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 1. And then we go. So we're going to slide back to the 7th fret of our D string, to the 5th fret, 7th fret of our A, to the 5th fret. So here's what we did. So 
So with the first part, and then we're going to go to our F major 7 chord. This time we're going to play it at the first fret of our low E. So first fret of our low E, and you're going to put your middle finger on the second fret of your D string, your ring finger on the third fret of your A string, and we're going to do the same one to one pattern. One, two, one, two, one, one, two. The one obviously is on our low E, the two is going to be on our D string, and then our one is going to be on the A string. So. And then we go. Third fret of our D, second fret of our D, third fret of our A, and our A string open. So, so let's put it together with the first part. And then we're going to play our low E open, still palm muted, and then we go to the third fret of our low E, so we go. And then we start the whole riff again. Here's what we're doing. So once we play our low E open, we go to the third fret of our low E, and then we go second fret of our A to an open A, and then second fret again. So, and then we're going to play our low E at the third fret again. So we go. And then we're going to play our A string open again. So we go. If I had to play these strings open, I would go. And then we play. So third fret on our low E, fifth fret on our A, third fret on our A, back to the fifth fret. And then the third fret of our low E again, so. So if we go back a little bit. And we're gonna to slide to the fifth fret of our low E and start this whole shape again. So let's backtrack a little bit from our F major 7 chord we go. And then you go over and over again. All right, well, I hope this lesson helped. As always, if you have any requests, let me know. Comment below so I know what you guys want me to teach you. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.